Do you want to learn how to read the tarot cards? I have a fun, interactive class that will teach you three strategies to improve your tarot card readings, therefore helping you to make some money on the side. You will learn how to read complicated combinations so that you can tell a story to your clients. The class was $39.95, now it's $19.99 until the end of the month. The link to the class is in the description box or at the top of the comments section. Or if you want private to road tutoring, I'm available for that too. Contact me at 470-835-7099, but the link to that is in the description box too. Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading. So who's on your mind? The moon, the ten of swords, the three of swords, somebody who's really feeling a lot of pain over you right now. They are deeply troubled and they're having a hard time with moving on. I feel like there was some type of breakup or some type of separation and someone is very angry here and they're also very hurt but I feel like there's a lot of anger I'm sensing a lot of anger and why is that they feel left alone they feel like they dedicated a lot of time effort and energy the nine of pentacles is a card of uh, independence this person didn't want to be independent um, from you they, they wanted, you know, to be married. Let's see, how does this person feel about you? What are their current feelings about you? What are their current feelings about you, Taurus? What is your, this, well, let's see. So, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about... They feel very angry. I'm getting anger. And they really want to tell you a piece of their mind with the Queen of Swords. Because the Queen of Swords has conversations. You know? And they feel like they had dedicated a lot of time, effort, and energy into this relationship. It looks like there's two women here. It could be two separate females, two separate men. But they definitely um, want to give you a piece of their mind and tell you how much they feel. They want to give you a mess. They actually want to talk to you. I don't know if they're going to. With this Queen of Wands here, they might be, I don't, I don't really know if they're going to, but they really want to give you a piece of their mind and tell you exactly how they feel about all the time, effort, and energy, or this could be vice versa, that they dedicated in this relationship and all alone there was another woman or... There, I see two different women here. Let's clarify this. Who is the Queen of Swords? And who is the Queen of Wands? Because somebody is devastated and hurt and very angry. And I think that, um, let's see, Taurus, where is your mind regarding this connection? Where is your mind regarding this connection? Page of Wands, Six of Cups. Ten of Cups. I think you want to know, is it really over or will there be a reconciliation with the Six of Cups? I feel that you still want to talk to this person, but I, I think there's another woman here or there's a, another energy here that is blocking this from progressing. I feel that there is a lot of love around you. There are different women that love you or there are different men that love you and you get to choose. Your mind is you still want to talk to this person and have sex and, and be a family. Or, you know, you guys could have children with each other. But the other person wants to give you a piece of their mind. They want you to, let's see, what do they want to say? Or how about this? What are their next actions going to be towards you? So Taurus still wants to move forward with this. What are their next actions going to be? The devil reverse. So they are not going to be proactive in this connection 
at this time because they feel like they have released themselves from a toxic situation and I don't see them taking any action anytime soon. They're not interested. They have been devastated and traumatized and they're so angry. Somebody is just so pissed off right and they're just kind of trying to figure out and i think you know taurus is like well is it really over is it really over i feel like this person has love for you but they are not going to pursue this relationship okay or this could be vice versa right i feel like there's a lot of feminine energy here on both sides and I feel that, you know, your person is definitely going to, and I also feel like this person has a lot of self-control, right? And they're not really interested in having a relationship if they're going to be the third will. Because see, the queen of wands, how do they feel about you? They love you more than they love anybody else. They see you as the one that they want to be with but not if they have to share you, especially with, um, not with just friends, but a whole full woman. Okay. And that's not everybody's story. Cause you know, I don't know your age and stuff, but I feel that somebody has decided to, um, contain themselves and to redirect their energy on their money and on methodically moving on in their life and see other people, right? If that's, if that's what they need to do. And I don't feel that they're going to be reaching out for communication. They may be responsive to your communication in some degree, but you know, I don't really feel that somebody with this queen of swords here. Also, this person wants to clear the air with you. They want to clear the air with you and give you a piece of their mind because they're so angry, but they're having a hard time with, um, moving on. I mean, they're trying to move on. They're really trying to move on, but they feel a little stuck. So, um, let's see, is this person going to get into a better place about this connection? Is this person going to get to a better place regarding this? All right, let's see. Huh. One, it looks like maybe the fourth, the, whatever the next holiday is, your person might be in a different place about this. But right now, they're feeling like they need to do what's best for themselves. They're in a lot of pain. They're deeply hurt. They feel uh, like they're the victim. They feel that, you know, you chose somebody else over them. You made your decision. And I feel like somebody is really angry and hurt and has decided to distance themselves from this connection and from this relationship. And I feel like they are traveling now. Um, and I feel, I do feel that, um, in the future, if in fact you guys don't work this out, I don't, I don't really feel like somebody wants to work it out if there's another woman here. Okay. That's, I'm feeling like somebody is not going to tolerate being a side person anymore. I'm getting the sense that they were the side person for a long time. And that um, someone, uh, I'm sensing, I'm hearing spirits say somebody just got tired of being alone all the time. And so, you know, the answer to whether or not you should return to this situation is no, move on, move away from this person that you were committed to and distance yourself from this. All right, let's do a quick Celtic cross here. So how is your person feeling right now about this relationship? All right. For the Tauruses who are watching, how is you, uh, they want to have a conversation with you and clear the air, but they are feeling, um, distant. They have used a lot of mental conquest and gotten clear 
uh, and they took the sword, which is a weapon, and they dissected the bullshit from what's real. And so they're in a very powerful place and they're in a new beginning regarding you know this connection and, and it looks like they're seeing things very clearly there's a someone has gotten a lot of clarity okay and i feel like um that's either you or that's them all right well let's see how are you seeing things now taurus how are you seeing things how are you seeing things now, Taurus? The will of, oh, you want things to change. You want things to turn around. You don't like how things are headed right now. You see this person as being a part of your destiny. And you want there to be a, a shift of energy here. You want things to maybe go back to how they were. Or you still want this person very much so in your life. Okay? So um, what are their feelings for you and about this relationship? What are their feelings? They feel like um, they were being juggled and that you have more than one person that you're seeing. They also want to move on. Somebody wants to move on. They're ready to move on because they have come. They got great clarity about the presence of a woman here and that that nothing is going to be done to get rid of that woman. If that's the case, somebody really wants to move on or vice versa. There's a man there and somebody is not doing anything to get rid of the man. So somebody else is deciding that they want to move on. What are your feelings about the situation? I think you want to give to more than one person. You feel like somebody feels like, well, we've been in this arrangement for a long time. Why is there a problem with the arrangement now? And I think that somebody was in denial for a long time. And now they're not in denial anymore. I mean, I feel that this person is having a hard time with moving away from you, but it seems like they're going to do what they feel is best for them, even though they have strong feelings for you. Let's see. Let's see how you feel about them. How do you feel about this person, Taurus? How do you feel about this person, Taurus? How do you feel about this person, Taurus? You feel the queen of coins. You really care about this person. You feel like they are, you know, everything that this could, yeah. I feel that you really love this person and I feel like you really care about this person and you see them as being a great uh, caregiver, a great wife, but I feel that there's a lack of passion here because the queen of coins can sometimes like come across to represent an aunt, right? I feel like there's somebody who you love, but there's somebody else that you love more. I feel like they are definitely somebody who you love, but they feel taken they they just don't i don't i don't feel i know i feel like you love them enough to make them your woman but you may not love them enough to make them your wife some of you i feel that some i feel that somebody is just kind of ready to let this go Somebody is just kind of ready to just move on with their life, mother their children. It could be you, could be the cross watcher. You know, somebody doesn't even really want to think about it very much. They're just trying to let the pain pass so they can get on with their lives is what I'm sensing. Some of you are just avoiding it and some of you are about your career, your job, you have you feel emotionally like you can't, somebody can't let go of some of the past hurts that happened in this relationship. Somebody just can't let go. And you know, there also might be other women here and somebody has a drinking problem and they're always gone. They're not there enough. You know, they come for sex and then they leave. That could be another story, you know. But I do feel that, Taurus, you have a lot of hope for this situation. 
and you really want this relationship to work out you want things to turn around here so what is your next action getting ready to be Taurus what is your next action getting ready to be in this relationship I feel that somebody has something that they really want to say because there are some very angry feelings here and somebody has just kept them suppressed for so long and I feel like they're playing the silent treatment um, and you're wondering if they're going to reach out and I don't see them being proactive with action but I do feel that you know they are very much so hurting in their heart and they want to talk but I don't know if they're ready it looked like it might take a while before well let's see let's see how soon before your person is ready to talk let's see how soon will it be before your person is ready to talk how soon would it be before your person is ready to talk okay next full moon oh that's just next month okay next month in the morning okay but as far as being with this person and being and and being married or having somebody else and in, in the Aries I mean in the Taurus knows about it not in this lifetime yeah somebody or your person somebody is not going to accept sharing someone at all that is just not something that they're going to do what is this person biggest fear as it relates to you What is this person's biggest fear? That you are going to get away because they're feeling like a, a little bit of a victim. Their biggest fear is that you are going to get away with, from them. You're going to get away and just move on with your life and be happy and not you know and just leave them out in the cold that's why you know this person wants your attention with the six of wands and you might be a real good looking person or you're a good looking person to them and uh, they feel like the worst thing in the world would be to lose you You know, that's their greatest fear, but they are walking through their fears if it means they have to share you with somebody else. So what's the past here? Let's look at some oracles. We have the King of Pentacles reverse. We have investment and investigations. So I don't know if the police got involved here, but somebody really gave a lot to this situation without a commitment. They were having children and there was no husband and somebody was watching you or somebody was watching the other or did an investigation and found out that they were married or did an investigation. I'm not really sure what that's about, but yeah, so this in the recent past, somebody stopped investing in this connection. And they started, you know, really investigating what's going on here. What am I doing? What am I, where is this going and what am I doing here? It was a big life change. Are they going to contact you? Um, no, but they'll listen to your messages 
they'll listen to your messages. This person is really um, doing a lot of spiritual work right now, Taurus, or this is you. Taurus is doing a lot of spiritual work right now and they are um, actually not alone. So Taurus does have somebody here and, and Taurus does not have to be alone. I don't see you being alone during this period of time. I feel that there is somebody that's still there. Um, but I just kind of feel that you're going to recharge from this connection for a minute. Right now, the outcome is you guys are just going to recharge from each other. And that might include very little communication right now because we get the card let's take a break this could be with a fire sign this could be with anybody aries leo sagittarius sun moon or rising right some of you were in a situationship here um with maybe a businessman or some of you were a businessman but then there's a long-term relationship here too so it's a little like conflicting here but from what I'm seeing, someone is devastated and hurt and in their feelings about the loss of a great relationship with someone that someone cared about very deeply. Now, they may not have been necessarily passionate about that person, but they were passionate about what that person gave them in their life. But it seems like somebody has decided that if the relationship means that they have to share you with a significant other, unlike the uh, Aries, the Aries was just messing, you know, just had a whole bunch of attachments, that, but they didn't mean anything. But this is somebody is dealing with somebody that means something to them and they're trying to have a connection with somebody else and somebody is having a hard time with moving on with letting you go because they loved you so much but somebody is feeling like if I have to share then I don't know if it's really worth it okay so let's do the extended reading now all right so let's just look into this a little deeper let's look into this a little deeper Okay, so Aries, I mean, who is this? So, let's look at this a little deeper. All right, so Taurus, we're going to use those cards. Where is this relationship going? How? do you feel about your person? How does your person feel about you? Is there anyone else that's a threat? Will this relationship result in commitment? Will this relationship result in marriage? What do you absolutely need to do to make this relationship work? And what can you do that will um, make this relationship work. In other words, what does this person love about you? And what secrets does the Tarot want you to know about this person? All right. Okay. So that is the extended reading. And I am going to read these cards. And if you want to know more about this reading, uh, you know, about what's going on between the two of you, then I'm getting ready to turn these cards over. You can hit the link button and it'll take you right to the description box. Uh, I mean, you can hit the, uh, the link in the description box and at the top of the comment section, and it'll take you to Vimeo where for a nominal fee, you could purchase this extended video so you can find out more about what's going on. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching and God bless.